As Barack Obama was sworn in as our 44th president, he spoke about the difficult tasks we must face now to benefit future generations. Local school children who watched his inauguration wished him well and had an incredible grasp of the importance of his presidency. The eyes of every student in Mrs. Valkenberg's fourth grade class were wide with anticipation on Inauguration Day. Greta Ketchner even made a shirt to mark the important occasion. The shirt I'm wearing today says history in, in the making. Despite their young years, every student at Wycalis Elementary in Dallas knew just how significant the inauguration of our first African-American president would be. Because African-Americans used to not do anything with white people and used to be tortured and that stuff and be slaves and it's kind of, it's basically history. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. So with intent reverence, every nine-year-old in the house stood as our nation's new chapter began. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. <laughs> This was an important lesson in history and life. They're living through history right now, and that one day that they'll get to tell their kids about the, where they were when they watched it the first time that this happened. I stand here today humbled. But history doesn't happen on an empty stomach. As the students launched into lunch, they talked about their hopes for their country under their new president. I hope that he's able to change it and make peace with the war. No more poor people. Michaela Soga boiled down President Obama's inauguration to one word. Exciting. And then she savored the swearing in with a snack. I got a bagel and crackers and popcorn. Is that a good inaugural lunch? I think so, yeah. No surprise that the students were so enthusiastic on inauguration day. They held a mock election back in November. The hands-down winner, Barack Obama. Kathy Bozinski, timesleader.com.